Hey guys, Luke here. This is a facility agent tutorial um, focusing on world record strategies. It's a long complicated level so it might end up being a bit of a long video but I'm going to do my best to keep it as concise as possible just kind of quickly doing it all in, in one hit. Um, I'm going to use Aces 43, the original 43 because I think it best explains everything I want to cover in how to get the time. Um, well, let's just start the video and see how this goes. All right. So the first thing we want to know is to skip both cinemas straight away. Uh, I use Z to skip the first cinema and then I think Z and A to skip the second one. Just do whatever you like to do. The reason we skip both cinemas is that we can get the guards to be in a position where we can get the open door. Basically, before um, Ace discovered the open door strategy on Facility Agent, the world record was 44, and it was a max, a theoretical max time for humans. But um, the open door saves about 0.7 seconds, I believe, um, and then the other extra mind boosts that we can do because of it um, end up being enough of a time saver that we can get high 43s or mid 43s at the moment. So strafe in right strafe, uh, you take the first two corners as tightly as you can in the vents. And then this bit here is, uh, for a lot of players, very difficult to learn or to get consistent. And you want to get the vent, you want to open the, uh, the first bathroom door while you're falling down the vent. Um, and we actually press B uh, in the vent because there is a slight delay between when you uh, input button inputs in the, in the game and when they actually work in the game. So I press B uh, about now. So I'm just sort of about to fall down this vent in right strafe. And you want to press B here. Um, it's, it's tricky to learn this because you're kind of... Um, basically you're going to be falling down the vent and then pressing B as you're kind of learning the level, getting used to the game. And then when you can sort of get a feel for like the timing of the door, when you can press B, you're going to be doing it as more like more risky and uh, closer to still being in the vents when you do it. Now, it doesn't seem like it saves that much time thinking about it at first, but it actually saves a, bit, a fair bit of time because if you open the door in the vent, you're able to like fly out of the door and then reach the first door in the next door quite quickly. So you watch Ace do this. So you see. I have to watch this a few times here. So, open, and you see, this is a, a perfect example of what's happening. See, Bond is falling uh, down the vent hole into the bathroom, in the cubicle. Uh, the door is already swinging open, and he's still, he's already moving through the door. It's kind of a ridiculous trick, and, like, it's a bit of a leap of faith at first when you try and learn it. But, if you um, seriously grind this door, like, Hundreds of, t hundreds of times and get used to like when to press B, you're going to be starting to, to get a feel for it. And it's a very useful time saver for getting 43 pace runs. Okay, so I recommend learning this uh, flying bathroom door. And then you're still in right strafe here. This is the interesting thing is that you're still in right strafe. You don't want to break strafe, you want to hold speed. Okay, still in right strafe, right strafe all the way to the door press, uh, to this door press. Okay. Then you switch to left strafe, okay? Don't let go of up C if, uh, at any moment. Okay, and then straight to this door press as well. And as you get better and better, you can do the doors quicker, earlier, because of that input delay. Okay, straight after this door, you want to start shooting uh, six bullets of the PB7 as you get down the staircase here. Okay, first bullet, and then you want to take this turn uh, and I like to do this turn like Ace does in left strafe and it's a blind turn kind of like down the staircase uh, look down doesn't matter so much here you can you can have horizontal view or you can have a couple of degrees of look, degrees of look down doesn't matter just shoot your six bullets like this okay and then when you reach here you want to reload um, with one bullet left in your clip the reason being is if you shoot all seven you're going to have a slight sort of delay between uh, getting all the bullets out and then opening this door. So it's 
best to shoot six because of the time that it takes to shoot six bullets and the amount of lag that it generates. So you can you know shoot your six, reload now, and then get ready to open this door, and, and you're still in left strafe at the moment. So he reloads and door press, and now we want to get ready to kill this next uh, the, the keycard guard. So the keycard guard is in itself a trick. Um, you can do it in many ways. You can okay. So get a good aim on him. Still in left strafe. Move up to him and shoot him. And you, Ace shoots two bullets here, so one for safety. Um, I just usually shoot one, and I find one's pretty consistent. It's a tricky sort of movement though, you want to kind of like move into him so you can pick up his stuff and shoot the bullet. So so the, the auto aim will track him, you want to shoot the bullets when, when, you've, when the gun is like aimed at him, and then as soon as you kill him and pick up the stuff you want to go into right strafe. And this movement is very tricky, but you want to move right, so away from this pillar here so you don't get stuck on it. You want to move into a position where you can then get out of this door quite cleanly, like this, and you want to switch to the KF-7 um, when you're getting through the door, okay? There's the KF-7, you, you've got through the door, then you want to look right while moving and still moving in full speed, and you want to uh, line up a kill against this, uh, a kill on this guard, and he can do heaps of different stuff, he can actually just be a complete bastard and roll around here or, or jump out of uh, your way, but... Um, if he's ducking like this, you just want to aim down and, and shoot three bullets into him. Now, a common mistake that new players do is they shoot more than three. They shoot maybe six bullets, even more sometimes. And it just makes more noise. Uh, it makes more lag. It's slower. You want to keep your ammo, I guess. It's just better to shoot three. Kill him. And don't worry about killing the, the guards in here if you really want to get a sick time. So. So move straight into here too, don't use too much strafe, just kind of use up C. And then I use a little left strafe here after the kill, okay, to get into this position here. And you want to press B very early for the console, like earlier than you sort of expect, because again, you can open things, you can press things from further away than you think. So I'm sort of pressing B now, um, and moving towards the console and hopefully this dude here just stays here so you can sort of rub against him so there you can see Ace rubs against him as he's doing the strafe change and you want to get out of the console room now in full speed so you got to do a very sharp turn to the right so you get this sort of good you open your body up to getting out of the door like that and then as soon as you get out turn really sharp left and you want to go in this direction here as close to these boxes as you can. And this guard here is a bit pretty annoying sometimes, he can actually back you. He can also um, forward boost you that way after you make it around the boxes. But just try not to go around his like the right hand side of him, that's kind of bad and, and you're going to lose time like that. So s just straight through here, here he goes against the boxes. Use a 30 degree look down here I think makes it easier to do the warp that we're, we're getting up to and keep as close to this corner as you can so let's see this again really close to that corner take a left turn and try and open this door as far away from it as possible so like there you don't even need to be that close to it it's it's pretty awesome like you can press B quite far away which helps and then once you press B on this door try to uh, get into left strafe uh, up against this corner of the door. Okay, right in the crack, switching to, uh, he's going to press A once and we're going to switch to the uh, the detonator. Left strafe, switch to detonator and you go straight through. Um, with, with a little bit of look down I think it helps. And once we're through here, um, you want to be back switching or forward switching if you prefer to the KF7 and you want to take this corner here in left strafe very tightly just like this straight through here out comes the mine for Ace because he's actually back switching slowly just to make sure he makes it straight to the KF7 and doesn't miss it if you try and back switch too quickly I always find that I end up on the wrong weapon um, and I really don't like forward switching here I, f I feel like that's inconsistent 
So just do two very slow back switches while you're moving uh, towards this door. So the mines come out first, as we see. There comes the KF7, and he presses the door. He's actually looking kind of straight at the door here, which is nice. Because then, once the door's opening, he's going to go straight into, I think, right strafe and full look down for the long corridor. There we go. And he kind of fits his body through this crack of the door as it's opening. You try not to lose any time at this door. You can. I've done it before on really good runs as well, where I open the door, try and get into strafe, and I actually hit. Um, let me go back. I'll show you. I run against this wall here or on this side and lose like a few tenths and it's crucial to keep full speed and stuff at this part of the level so strafe into either right strafe or left strafe um, good full look down is really good here even just a 45 degree look down is good but looking up is terrible you're gonna get screwed so make sure you're looking down okay and shoot 12 bullets so you wanna end up at 18 and that's when you stop Pass these guards and open this door and as you're getting after you've shot the 12 bullets and you're getting to the door take either your PP7 out so a back switch or forward switch to mines and then open the door uh, the reason for this is that we're gonna warp this door to KF7 and then we're gonna gun our way through the next two guards uh, after the um, open door which we'll see in a sec so this is basically the reason we're shooting the ground is to get some guards to open a door past this door and it's going to save us the time we need to get 43 okay so switch to KF7 here the warp, he actually gets a boost here which is kind of cool um, KF7 is out this door is being opened by the guards which is good and you just want to get through here as quickly as you can Don't. this is a good place to get stuck so um, well it's a bad place to get stuck but it's easy to get stuck and you can lose half a second, maybe even a second here, without even noticing it. So just get through here quickly, shoot through, and then I'm going to actually go back and just go over everything we've done so far because it's there's so much stuff. Okay, so... Skip both cinemas, tight strafing, maybe a bit of look down, press B now, open the door, right strafe to this door, then switch to left strafe, open this door about here, quite far away, keep a bit of look down, six bullets, reload there, open the door, get close to the guard-ish, shoot him far away, um, make sure your aim is at him before you shoot, otherwise you're going to not kill him, try and left strafe towards him and pick up his stuff, then turn right and keep going, there we go, switch to KF7 through the door, and turn through the door, get a good aim at the guard, going forward, one round of bullets, so three bullets, no more, move up to the key card, uh, sorry, to the console, press B before you get there, try and rub against this guard so that you can get a good angle leaving, switch to mine as you go through the door, good look down, stay close to the crates, try not to get trolled by the guy on the right there, Stay very close to this thing when you take the turn, like that, switch to detonator through here, back switch twice slowly, look down, open the door from far away, look down, shoot 12 bullets, switch to mine or PP7, open, then switch, get a boost or you can just warp it kill these guards quickly okay and then straight into left strafe and uh, straight into right strafe and you want to be using a good amount of look down here um, and you want to not do any wobbly lines here basically this is the part where you just you're, you're on a run and you just want to take straight lines so watch this uh, straight line here as soon as I clear or as soon as you clear that corner take a really sharp right turn and you want to be, you want to be shooting here. I should explain that. So, let me go back. Twelve bullets. Warp. Now you want to start shooting, and you want to shoot six bullets. Uh, and nine is the safety shot. So six will be the the, um, the minimum you need to get the next door open, but nine will actually be a bit safer. Sometimes six. If you get caught at the door, 
the guard might not hear the six bullets, so you can do either six or nine, it doesn't matter. Nine lags a tiny bit more, but I think six is, is uh, a little bit less kind of consistent. Anyway, sharp, look, look down, right strafe, and then so you're going to stop shooting around about here, because he's already shot his um, six bullets. So, okay, and stick and aim for the left here. Aim sort of uh, for this little column. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, column on the wall. Y y basically, there's a guard just to the right here, and if you go and aim too far right, you're going to get stuck on him, and you're going to be completely screwed. So we have to clear the guard, staying to the left. Yep, hug. He actually hugs the column, which is nice. That's what I do. And once you kind of pass the column there, you want to aim more right. Okay start angling towards the crack in this door as it's opening and you want to be back switching um, quite early actually so that when you get to this crack you can warp to PP7 uh, through this door that this guard is opening. So right in the crack PP7 comes out. Now it, in really really hard part of the level now um, you've done this warp into in right strafe and you then want to left strafe straight after doing the warp so we can get onto this staircase and thank you game designers for placing this staircase in the worst possible position where we can't just get straight onto it, we have to turn to the left and then get onto it. It's very, very tricky. But when you can actually do it, it's really awesome. So keep practicing it. So left strafe, okay, and then straight into right strafe, and you want to switch to mines now. So it's a double forward switch. So press A twice while doing all this. Um, you can learn the stairs anyway. Uh, you're gonna just not want to get stuck on anything, and obviously you want to take it as tight as you can. So look at AC does this almost robot with robotic perfection. Okay, and left strafe after you've gotten up the stairs, around this corner. Make sure you clear these uh, walls while you're doing this zigzag bit, this snake bend. Um, Something that can happen on facility pretty often is that guards will pull grenades uh, or boxes will be blown up by shooting guards. So if you get grenades going off, everything is so laggy that you're going to probably have a few runs where you like turn too early and you don't actually clear, it, clear these walls. And if you're on a sweet run, you really don't want that to happen, so just clear the walls um, and then take the turn tight rather than making like half ass turns while, while you rub against the walls. Clears the wall, turns right, and then left, and then you want to throw a mine uh, onto this wall here, or onto this column I guess, because you want to boost yourself uh, into the labs. Okay, So the mine goes there, take a turn around the left hand side of this guard, keep good look down, detonate here, once you've cleared the guard, get a boost, and then in full left strafe still, you then want to get ready to throw a mine um, past sort of where Doak stands. So on some runs, Doak's actually spawning uh, just past this this wall here, and you want to throw a mine sort of in the direction of this column, um, because we're going to take a left turn now towards the door, and you want to get a boost to, to help you. So watch Ace throw the mine, there it goes. Doke isn't here on this run, so you can't blow him up for fun. But take a left turn as soon as you throw the mine, okay, and get a boost. Yep. And then this is an awful part of the level. Um, this guy here is a fucking dick, and he can back boost you, he can roll, he can duck, he can do all kinds of stuff. But you basically want to go and strafe this way, so to the left of him without getting stuck on this thing, because this thing is pretty annoying. Uh, and you want to throw a mine, so he's, he's moving in towards this place, and then you want to throw a mine there and get a boost uh, to the left. And the mine can land over there if you want, it can land there, it's, it's sort of up to you, however you feel that you consistently get the mine boost. You take a left turn and you want to get through these two guards, so it's a pretty tough bit of the level here, this third mine boost and it's insanely laggy, so that's why we look down and um, sometimes the lag can be higher than others, um, so some runs you're just you're better off than others, I guess. Okay, gets the boost, 
it's a very tough boost as well to handle because you kind of want to be going as fast to the door as you can, but um, if you strafe to the door, you're always pretty much going to miss it. Um, you're gonna, if you miss this door to the left or the right, you're really screwed because of the way the door is designed, like with this sort of uh, frame around it. So my best, the best, most consistent way of doing this is to like position yourself facing the door for the door press. So you sort of get the boost to the side and then approach the door straight, press the door and then get into strafe. So he presses it straight on, then gets right up, up to it and looks left in right strafe and gets ready to warp back switching to KF7 for the most um, consistent and best warp here. There. The detonator is a pretty bad choice. Um, it's so laggy you're probably going to miss the stairs and actually get caught on these uh, balustrades. So I just uh, recommend you look down and use the KF7 warp. And once you get down this stair, you're probably going to see Trev, or you're going to hopefully see Trev, if you've got a good Trev. So you just don't want to choke it. I've had runs where I've seen Trev and then choked because I knew it was going to be a 43 if everything else went right. Um, so sometimes you can you know, do it so you don't see if he's there or not, but I prefer to actually see it. So I look kind of like Ace does to the right just, just to make sure it's a Trev. Um, and you want to take this kind of, you know, just don't overturn. Like, I've had runs where I've caught this railing here, which is really a shit way of losing a great run. Make sure you're sort of looking this way so you can get around the turn in the stairs. Okay, take that kind of nicely. And then the right turn, you'll see Trev kind of just strafe to his right. So Sorry, to the right of him. It doesn't really matter though and then get ready to get inside these barrels. I'm sure everyone watching this knows what to do here, but you want to place a mine as close as you can to this corner of these four tiles, and you don't want the mine to skip. Just place it, run forward, and another mine just around there, just where Ace places it, right on the corners. Set up for the detonation right here. Okay, so you just strafe out here, uh, couple of tiles in front of this staircase and you can see the door in the distance. Okay? Blow up your detonator, wait, wait for the message and then half a second after the message comes up start strafing towards the door. Okay. And then Ace actually left kind of early on this run so he delayed the door press for the exit. Um, so you get there With practice, you're going to get a real sense of the timing that you need for a completion. So just do it over and over again. Detonate, wait, message, go. That was a very tight leave. Okay, so 43. Sick world record, tier 2 agent time. Very close to a tier 1 time, I think. One of probably the best tier 2 time. Um, now I did explain the beginning twice up to the open door, so maybe what I'll do now is just we'll watch the beginning again and then from the open door onwards I'll do a little bit more explaining and I might even point out some music checkpoints this time. Okay? That's just There's a music change when you open this door and you'll probably get used to that one. There's a big music change as you take that turn. Music change as you kill this guard going into this uh, console room. And that's a big one for 43 pace starts. So listen out for that one. Music change as you move into this long corridor. The da 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 should play as you're uh, in this zone. There, as you pass that column. I'll play it one more time. Okay, so the da 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 as you're going through that column. 
music change there as you hit these small stairs. That's the most important one um, because that really tells you if it's 43 uh, into the labs and then the labs is sort of standard and with a warped down to the bottles you should be able to get 43. Big one there as well, there's, there's a bass note that comes in. If you can be opening this door when you hear that bass note, then you've probably got a 43 if everything else goes good. Warp. And the da 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 should play when you're placing that mine. But that's a pretty bad music checkpoint because you could place the mine slower than other times and you could also get stuck on trip. So don't really pay much attention to that music unless it's like completely insane and you're already moving to the next mine throw and the da 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 da, -da thing plays there. Okay. There you go. So I'm not too sure how long this was. I hope I covered everything. If there's any demand for a um, like a 44 tutorial, like old strat, or just a, kind of an entry level facility tutorial, I might consider doing it, or I might get sort of. I think Wodas uh, Daniel had some interest in doing one, so leave some comments if that's what you want. Um, otherwise, I hope this was helpful because it's an insane level. It's probably the best level in the whole game because um, it's not too troll compared to something like Cabin's Agent. You can get really consistent at this level. You can build so many different skills from this level. Um, there's the shooting in it, there's good strafing, um, you know, lots of very technical stuff, very fast paced, lots of input stuff. And the only real RNG is getting good trevs, so, and, and also having good laggy, low lag runs. You can have grenades drop, um, you can have some back boosts as well, and the open door part is pretty RNG based. You can have guards um, kind of blocking that door, or you can have the door open slow, compared with uh, what you really want is a fast open door run, where you can just sort of slip straight through and um, either not even have to kill the guards, or you can just kill one quickly and get straight through. The hardest bit for 43, I think, um, for players who are kind of getting good 44s, uh, is the beginning. Like, the bathroom doors have to be really tight because it's so hard to make up that 0.3 seconds if you, d if you don't do the fast flying door and the fast keycard kill. So, if you can just get, like, low 44s and then improve your beginnings, you're probably going to be able to get that high 43. Okay, guys, just um, enjoy the vid and uh, ask any questions and stuff later. Cheers. See ya.